Okay, so Tala, Hasted Tala versus Bainbow. TJ's daddy's here. Let's holler at him. Um, what kind of hand do I have? I have my Blade Dancer FFM opening, but I'm going second. So I'm not sure it's gonna cut it. If he plays a 2 drop, I'm probably gonna cripple it. Maybe even if he doesn't, you know, he has things like uh, Poison Arrow to counter the Blade Dancer. And he has fat allies like Gargoyle or um, a Morbid Acolyte that he can play on turn on turn 3. But Bainbow these days is more rushy than control, I think. He's probably gonna have uh, a Krygon or a DMT. This is where the Protector come in. Uh, I'm not going to use Berserker because I'll have board control starting right now. And here we go, a Hasted 4-6 Protector on turn 3. And Banebow can't use his ability on Blade Dancer. I'm keeping uh, Visca for now because I know Banebow's running perfect shot and things like that and he... So he can kill him, and I want to use Visca to uh, um, sorry, I got distracted here <laughs> to bash into his weapons. Uh, okay, Hulk is a bit of a problem because he has four, uh, uh, six HP, which I can't take out right now. Hmm, do I want to cycle? I don't think so, I'm happy with my double Visca. Maybe I should have killed the Hulk, prevent him from drawing. Actually that's something I find sometimes difficult, to not cycle when I can, even if I'm happy with the hand I'm holding. Um, I have to resist the urge. Okay, so I'm happy that he wastes a uh, perfect shot on FFM. What is he gonna do? He's not killing anything. Hmm, do I want to keep... He already played a perfect shot. And he has high, high health allies, right? This guy will come in as a... 3 3 4. Okay, I'm going for Visca. Sure. Don't want to cycle. Man, I know Blade Dancer is pretty open, it's probably gonna kill it and then play some Krygon or Furion Terror and kill the Blade Dancer, but um, I should be okay, or maybe a um, Soul Seeker. Okay, that's that's good, I didn't think about that. Oh yeah, you can go Gambit and then Ability. Well played, Daddy, well played. Just gonna cripple that again. If you don't know, Murder Ho Murderous Hulk is a 2 6 for 4 with an activity uh, ability that costs only 1 and allows him to. Um, deal his damage to the ally with the lowest health. So uh, he's pretty neat. Okay, what do I do? Gonna do two, probably two. Cast one Visca, take out the Karash. He's not drawing a lot, but he can do two, two. If he has a Gambit, he can't do anything. If he has a Krygon, he can come in though. 
and kill it, but he's gonna kill it anyway because he can use Kragon's ability. So I'm gonna leave it as a 3 6. Gonna have him use as many resources as possible. Actually, if he doesn't kill it, I'm a little in trouble because I'll be stuck with a Visca in hand. But I'm drawing two cards, so I'm okay. Hmm. I want to protect. I can I can use Visca as a protector, kill the DMT, cripple. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because I can use. I can use the Telus ability again next turn. Just gonna flood the board, which is kind of a weakness of Bainbow. But a Fur and Terror would decimate my guys. And if not, I'm in very good position. Because of Raven's Gambit, um, Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, because of Raven's Gambit, uh, Bainbow isn't running Poison Arrow all the time anymore. So, uh, I don't need to transfer your attack. Uh, sometimes they're just running a perfect shot and Raven's Gambit, which is a good combination, but it opens you up to some plays like this one. So yeah, it's he never got his uh, draw engine running, except for a, a single uh, Raven's Gambit. But nonetheless, he had to constantly play things to keep the pressure because I was coming back at him with uh, hasted guys that took the board control and were threatening to uh, kill anything he played anyway. Another Visca. Go, Princess, for the killing blow. Oh, no, he has six. Sorry. Here it is. So, yep. Yeah, as you saw, like, um, Protector can really get, uh, trouble those guys that have very effective uh, removal because it uh, diminishes the value that the removal has if they have to target a specific guy and not necessarily the the guys they want to hit. Uh, oh yeah, you get to see the nice uh, Blade Dancer in two FFM opening. So uh, I'm happy with that, and I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.